Now, what is a compound sentence? Well, basically, a compound sentence is two independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction, by a conjunctive adverb, or by a semicolon. Now, let's focus first on the two independent clauses. What is an independent clause? As you may remember from our previous video on simple sentences, an independent clause is a simple sentence, all right? So you can go back to that video to refresh your memory. Now, the compound sentence, we have uh, our first independent clause, which is Tom reads novels. In our second independent clause, which is Jack reads comics. Now, I have my two independent clauses, so I'm going to combine them, I'm going to join them uh, by one of these alternatives, and then I'm going to create a compound sentence. So let's just start. The first option for joining compound sentences, I mean two independent clauses, we have coordinating conjunctions. They're also known as fanboys, right? So, the first letter in the word Mambo is F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for get, and S stands for so. So this is a very quick way to remember all of the coordinating conjunctions. In a second part regarding compound sentences, I will clearly explain like in, in detail all uh, the aspects regarding families, how to use them, and so on. Now, the coordinating conjunctions. So here, to join these two independent clauses, I'm going to use but, because here I'm showing contrast, all right? So I have a first uh, independent clause, which is Tom reads novels, and then my second independent clause Jack reads comics. So what I do here is I put them together, put them together. So this is my first independent clause, my second independent clause, and I have here my family. The punctuation rule tells us that we need a comma before the family. This is mandatory. Okay, so I say Tom reads novels, first independent clause, comma, fanboy, second independent clause, Jack reads comics, and I finish the sentence with a period. And this is a compound sentence. My second alternative for joining the two independent clauses is uh, using a conjunctive adverb. Well, basically, conjunctive adverbs are like transition words, like however, therefore, also, in addition, uh, consequently, nevertheless, and so on and so forth. So below, um, uh, below, it, like in the description part of this video, I'm gonna include a link that can direct you to a list of all the conjunctive adverbs. Now. So let's continue. As I'm using these two independent clauses, uh, I'm gonna join them, and of course I need a word that has similar meaning to uh, but. So in this case, my conjunctive adverb, which has a similar meaning to but is however. So what I do is this, I write my first independent clause, right? I'll say Tom reads novels, and then I have my conjunctive adverb, and then I add my uh, second independent clause, which is Jack reads comics. The punctuation in this case is I have my first independent clause, and then before my conjunctive adverb, I'm going to use a semicolon. And after the conjunctive adverb, I'm going to use a comma, right? And then, 
I add my second independent clause, and at the end of the sentence, I'm going to use a period. And this is my uh, compound sentence in which I'm using a conjunctive adverb. To finish, I can use a semicolon. Now, I can say, Tom reads novels, right? This is my first independent clause. And my second independent clause is, his friend reads comments. Notice this, I changed here the subject, right? I changed the subject, I didn't write Jack. I wrote his friend. This is because when I used um, a semicolon for joining two independent clauses, my two independent clauses need to be directly related, okay? So the meaning of both of them has to be like strongly related, right? So in this case, I can say Tom reads novels, semicolon, semicolon, and then my second independent clause, and I finish my sentence with a period, right? So I'll say Tom reads novels, his friend reads comics. So as you can see, after you read, this sentence, you can understand that these two independent clauses are related, okay? They're strongly related. There's a strong relation between these two. That is the rule when you, have, when you want to use a semicolon. You have to have two strongly or directly related um, independent clauses. So that's gonna be it for today. Don't forget to leave your comments below, hit that subscribe button, and you can find me also on Facebook. See you on the next lesson.